I think you might be using too many inner joins. So what am I talking about? Well, over the course of my career, I've noticed that the default join for most SQL developers is the inner join. And I merely think that people don't put enough thought into whether or not they actually need to use an inner join and the impact to the business that that might have or can have later on. And in fact, I would argue the point that the most commonly used join should probably be the outer join. So now let's take a look at an example of what I'm talking about here. All right, now let's suppose we got a requirement from the business and they wanted a simple report that shows sales by customer. So it might look something like what we have on the screen here, customer ID, name, total sales, country code, and description. Now let's take a look at what the query might look like for this report, okay? So here we have a query. Um, and we're selecting all the fields that we need, right? But we're selecting it from our sales table we're inner joining on our, to our customer table, right, to get the customer name. And then we're also doing an inner join to the country table to get our country description. Okay, so let's run this. Now, as you can see, we get the results. Let's suppose we only had three customers, right? Um, and this is fine, and this is how most SQL developers would write this query. And, and you may think there's nothing wrong with this, right? But I would argue that there is something wrong with this, okay? Let's think about the requirement for a second. They want customer sales, right? That is the purpose of this. So you know you need an inner join to the customer table, right? Because that's the main thing we're looking for here, sales and customers, right? So that makes sense. However, an inner join to this country table, I would argue that this should be a left outer join. Now from what I've seen, most developers would have just put an inner join there, assuming country ID is going to be there, and that would be that, and not even think twice. And in most, of the time, most of the time that would be fine, and maybe all the time it would be fine. But let's, what if there was a business process tied to getting that country description information into the system? Let's say every time they entered a new market, the business was supposed to enter some information in the system, and one of the pieces of information was country description. Well, what if for whatever reason that didn't happen? So now let's delete a country here, and we're going to delete Australia from our country lookup table. Okay. Now let's rerun our query. Okay. And now you can see, using our left outer join, so what, we didn't get to country description, it's null, right? But it's, like I said, it's a non-critical piece of information here. So in most instances, that's okay. Now, this will signify that the business missed something and they do need to enter the country description, but at least they get the correct data and the, and the critical data that they need. Um, but now let's put back our inner join and we all know what's gonna happen here you're gonna drop rows. So now this report goes from being a little off, um, but acceptably so, since the business is gonna get the information they need to do their analysis, to being critically wrong. This is a critical issue. So now, just from a simple de decision like this, using an inner join versus an outer join, this can have a critical impact to the business later on. And this is what I think truly separates an expert and a, prof and a true professional from a novice or even an intermediate developer for that matter. So the point is, if you're gonna use an inner join, you better have a reason why. And if you're asked why, I don't wanna see some look on your face like this, or this, or maybe even this. Okay, that was a little weird. So do you give this much thought to queries when you're writing them? So now maybe next time you go to use that inner join, you'll think twice. All right, so that'll do it. Thank you for watching.